So Melissa Lanceman is giving it all in Parliament. Uh, she wants to know when are we going to have this uh, inquiry into the Chinese interference. Now that Johnston's gone, it should be sooner, not later. Let's not just go off Johnston's notes. So let's have a listen to her battling it out in Parliament. This was fun. <laughs> she was giving it some. Mr. Speaker, it's been eight months of denials, foot dragging and cover ups for these Liberals when it comes to foreign interference in our election. Here's the numbers. Countless promises of protecting our democracy, hundreds of thousands to the Trudeau Foundation, one special rapporteur and zero answers and zero results. The Prime Minister now gets to go back to the drawing board where he can keep delaying this investigation, continue his cover up and find someone else to do his bidding. The opposition has agreed to their new request. When will he give up the charade and finally commit to a public inquiry? Yeah. Mr. Speaker, uh, we think that a discussion about issues as important as protecting Canadian democratic institutions from unacceptable foreign interference would benefit from all of us lowering the partisan temperature. That's, right. That's why, Mr. Speaker, we believe that the decision of Mr. Johnston to leave the special rapporteur's role gives all of us an opportunity to discuss what are the next steps in a public process. The opposition says they want a public inquiry. What would be the terms of reference of that inquiry? How would they protect necessary national security information in the interest of Canada? What would be the timelines? Those are the conversations we're anxious to have. The Honourable Member for Thornhill. Let's be clear, Canadians want a public inquiry. And this is the kind of thing we've been seeing for eight months. The party who unequivocally rejected a public inquiry and ignored the will of this par parliament just weeks ago now says one has always been on the table. Huh. It should have been the first resort, That's not funny. the last resort. And it's very clear they have no plan and they never intended to investigate foreign interference in our election. When will they stop delaying this with their games and just call a public inquiry? I surprise you that I don't share some of the exaggerated premises of our honourable colleagues' uh, questions. What we have said, Mr. Speaker, and members of the Conservative Party know this well, including the leader of the Conservative Party, who sat in a government that was, a, was a designed and decided to protect national security information from public release. They know that. So saying they want a public inquiry right now is not, in fact, a responsible suggestion. They should tell us what would be the terms of reference. How will they protect the national security interests of Canadians? Who might lead this process in a proper way? Mr. Speaker, it's been 31 weeks, more than seven months, since the news that the government knew about the PRC's interference in our democracy came to light. Since then, we've asked hundreds of questions in this House and in its committees, but we've gotten very few answers. The only thing we've gotten are a few answers here and there, heavily redacted documents, and a mountain of process, NSACOP and CIRA, a special rapporteur. Will the Prime Minister commit to a public inquiry with the full powers of a public inquiry so we can get answers to exactly what happened. Mr. Speaker, the colleague across the way highlights the mechanisms that shine a light on how it is we're protecting our democratic institutions from foreign interference, including through the creation of NSICOP, a multi-partisan uh, endeavour, including through the creation of NSIRA. And yes, Mr. Johnston, who is now uh, uh, determined that he will not be carrying on, has charted out a course. What's important is that we work together, Mr. Speaker, uh, by addressing the concerns that have been raised with regards to foreign interference, but doing so in a way that is responsible to protect our national security. That remains the commitment of this government, and we look forward to taking the next concrete steps with all members in this chamber. Mr. Speaker, on a related national security matter concerning the Winnipeg lab breaches, it was two and a half years ago that this House of Commons ordered the production of documents. The government refused to comply with the order, then they hid behind NSACOP, and now finally, two and a half years later, the committee that is looking at these documents has just been stood up. Mr. Speaker, we can't wait two and a half years for more process to unfold to get the answers we need about interference in our democracy that affects all members and all parties of this House. So, will the government commit today to a public inquiry so this democracy and Canadians across the country can get the answers they deserve about yeah. PRC interference? Do any of these people ever say as it is and just give a straight answer, eh? Can, can we just, can we just, like, everybody except Trudeau, who's buggered off out of the country, wants an inquiry. Everybody, almost everybody, even Singh. <laughs> and and that's, that's, that's an odd one. 
So let, let's just have one. Why all the, you, you know what I think? I think he put Johnston in charge because he knew there would be all this rivalry and all this, um, oh, he, he's friends with you and all this lot. And we sort of focus on that more than we do on the actual um, previous happenings with the Chinese interference and um, Trudeau getting elected. Like Johnston's only just gone and said, oh yeah, we need to put this in order and that in order and and get all these things you know together so that going forwards we can we know what to do going forwards what we want to know is what the you know what the heck happened in 2019 and 21 that's what we want to know that's what everybody wants to know that's the secret source to getting somebody voted in is to finding out what happened when you get a little bit of a helping hand into government. Till next time.